2018 question paper for 14 marks. I read out the question. Uh, the engineering company manufactured and sold 1000 machines in 2016. Following are the particulars obtained. Cost of materials 80,000. Wages paid, factory expenses, salaries, rent rates, insurance, selling expenses, general expenses, sales. The company plans in manufacturing 1200 machines in 2017. You are required to submit the statement showing the prices to earn a profit of 10% on selling price. The following additional information is given to you. Uh, the price of material will rise by 20% of the previous year price. Wages will rise by 5%. Manufacturing expenses will rise in proportion to the combined cost of materials and wages. Selling expenses per unit will remain unchanged. And other expenses will remain unaffected by rise in units. Okay. Guys, uh, this is 2017 question paper, I mean 18 question paper, as we have seen. Uh, first, uh, let us start with uh, what is the question he is asked us is, he is asked us to prepare, you are required to submit statement showing price to earn a profit of 10% on selling price. So we have to prepare, first, uh, one cost sheet for 2016 and also an estimated cost sheet for 2017. In 2016, he is manufactured, produced 1000 machines. Say instead of uh, units, you can mention there, 1000 machines we are manufacturing. For manufacturing 1000 units, the material, cost of material was 80,000 rupees and wages was 1,20,000 rupees. When you add, materials and wages you get a uh, 2 lakh rupees as prime cost it's a, a first element now 80,000 is for 1000 machines for one machine material is 80 rupees and wages 1 lakh 20 for 1000 machines for one machine it is 120 rupees and next what is given is factory expenses see factory expenses is nothing but factory overheads the factory overhead is given as 50,000 rupees 50,000 for 1,000 machines, for one machine it becomes 50 rupees. So 50,000 divided by 1,000. Now we get factory cost of 2,50,000 adding prime cost and factory overheads. Next is administration overhead. Here he is not given straightly with the administration overhead. He is given split of numbers of administration overhead. What are the administration overhead is salaries of 60,000. Rent, rates and insurance as 10,000 and general expenses is given as 20,000 rupees. So total administration overhead is 90,000 rupees to manufacture 1,000 machines. For one machine it becomes 90 rupees. Okay, so total cost of production, once if you add administration overhead to factory cost, you will get cost of production. The cost of production total cost total is 3,40,000. To that, selling and distribution overhead is given selling expenses as 30,000 rupees. So, if you add selling expenses to cost of production, you will get total cost. No opening stock, closing stock of finished goods is given. So, thereby we get a total cost. To this, we should add profit. So, how to add profit? We don't know the profit, but he is given the sales. See, the cost of manufacturing 1000 machines was 3,70,000 rupees and uh, 370 rupees per machine and we sold it for 4 lakh rupees that means we got 30,000 rupees of profit for selling 1000 machines for each machine we got 30 rupees as profit per unit and 30,000 as a profit and selling price becomes 400 rupees we sold it for 400 where the cost incurred for one machine was 370 rupees. So this is how we prepare 2016 cost sheet and for this all the information is given but when if you read the first paragraph the company plans to manufacture 1200 machines in 2017. See 16 we manufactured 1000 machines in 2017 we manufactured 1200 machines. 1200 machines 
what is the information given for 2200 machines is the price of materials will rise by 20% on previous year's price. See, the material price, material price was 80 rupees or 80,000 rupees in the previous year 2016, which is increased by 20%. So, 80 rupees was the cost per material, per unit, per machine, it is increased by how much? 20%. 20% means 16 rupees. Now, the material cost per machine becomes 96 rupees. So, 96 into 1,200 machines, we get 1,15,200. And wages, next adjustment if you read, wages will rise by 5%. See, wages is also increasing by 5%. The wages per machine was 120 rupees, which is increased by 5% on 120 into 5% is 6 rupees got increased. So, total wages per machine is 120, 6 rupees, 126 into 1200, it becomes 151,200. Now, we got a prime cost adding material and wages. Now, factory order. Now, let us see what is the adjustment given third adjustment. Manufacturing expenses is nothing but factory overhead. Say machines where it will be there manufactured where we manufacture in the factory. So that means to say factory overhead will rise in proportion to the combined cost of materials and wages. That means your factory overhead, your factory overhead is calculated in proportion with direct material and direct wages. See what was the factory overhead in the last year was fifty thousand rupees. The factory overhead last year was 50,000 rupees and in proportion to material and wages. What was the material cost of the last year was 80,000. What was the wages cost was 120,000. So 80 plus 120, 2 lakhs. So now the formula is percentage of factory overhead to direct material and direct wages is 50,000 divided by 2 lakhs. So that means both we add generally factory overheads will increase or changes in proportion to direct wages. But in this question, this question is little difficult, he is given clearly that your factory overhead is increase or decreases in proportion to the material and wages both combinedly. So combinedly it becomes 2 lakhs, now 25%. That means last year's material wages was 2 lakh rupees, on this 25% was your factory overhead. This year your prime cost is 222 rupees, 222 rupees, on this 222 rupees or on this 266,400, you can calculate either ways. So 55 rupees, 50 paise will become factory cost or factory overheads, sorry, factory overheads. So your factory overhead will be 25% of your prime cost, that means to say. So now 55.5 into 1200 units, you get 66,600. Now we get a factory cost of 277 rupees 50 paise. Now to this we have to add administration overhead. We will see is there any uh, adjustments given for uh, other expenses, please look at here. Uh, fourth adjustment is re related to selling expenses. Let's not touch that. Other expenses, other means what? Administration overhead will remain unaffected by rise in output. Means other expenses means administration overhead remains same. It is 90,000 only. It will not change even a single rupee. So therefore, administration overhead was 90,000 rupees when you manufacture 1000 units, when you manufacture 1200 units. So it is remain same as 90,000 rupees. Now 90,000 is for 1200 units, for one unit it becomes 75 rupees. So 90,000 divided by 1200 it will be yeah, 75 rupees per unit. This is administration overhead. When you add administration overhead to factory cost, it becomes the cost of production. Now, selling and distribution overhead. Regarding fourth adjustment, selling expenses per unit will remain unchanged. See here, selling expenses per unit is 30 rupees. 
So selling expenses 30 rupees per unit. I am keeping that as it is as 30 rupees only because adjustment is saying per unit of selling expenses remain unaffected, no change in units per unit. So 30 rupees. 30 into 12,200 uh, becomes 36,000 rupees. Now you will get a total cost, adding cost of production and selling expenses. Now with this we have to add profit. But what is given in the question is, in the first paragraph of the adjustment, uh, you are required to submit statement showing the price to earn a profit of 10% on selling price. On selling price. We don't know what is the selling price. If you keep selling price as 100 rupees and your profit will be 10 rupees, then what is your cost will be 90 rupees. We don't know what is the sales. Now, if the profit is 10 rupees, your total cost is 4,59,000, which is equals to 90%. What is for 10? You get 51,000. 51,000 divided by 1,200, you get 42 rupees 50 paise. Now, total cost plus profit, if you add, you will get the sales. So, this is the sales or quotation price. We are setting it to our uh, customer that we can sell 1200 machines at cost of 5 like 10,000 or for one machine we can charge 425 rupees. See when you compare to 2016 and 2017, the cost per machine got increased by 25 rupees. It is because of rise in the price of material, because of rise in the price of wages. Got it? Okay. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe my channel Sai Study Circle and if you have already subscribed please uh, ask your friends also to subscribe thank you